I know that nothing good lives in me, that is, in my flesh. In fact, right here, he could not be more clear. He's not, he's not using a metaphor. He's saying that sin lives in my flesh. Sin lives or inhabits my physical body. That's a weird idea, isn't it? I have the desire to do what is right, but I don't have the ability to carry it out. For I do not do the good that I want to do, but the evil I do not want to do, I keep on doing. So my mind and my thoughts, I want to do what's right, but somehow my body traps me. And it's almost like my body forces me sometimes. It doesn't mean you're not responsible for it. Now, if I do what I do not want, it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells within me. Sin living in me. Over and over he says this in this chapter. Sin lives in my physical body. <laughs> Let's just think about that idea for a moment and try to make it a little bit more realistic and practical for us. So let's bring back the three. So you've got Angry Arthur, you've got Gossip and Gabby, and you've got Pig Out Peter. And Paul is saying sin lives in their physical body. Maybe before we even go to them, let me give you a car illustration. When you're driving down the road, raise your hand if you drive. Raise your hand higher if you like to drive. Yeah. Some of you raised your hands for like to drive who don't drive. Whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> when you're driving down the road and you've got a scene like this in front of you, you have to keep your hands on the steering wheel, right? Right? Why? Why do you have to keep, if the road's nice and straight, you're on a highway, you know, you're going for, you're going to go straight down this road for another 10 minutes. Why can't I just let my hands off of the steering wheel and let the car do what it wants? Why? Yeah, because my car's not a Tesla or some advanced futuristic model. Sure, sure, whatever. Because the natural tendency of the car is to veer off the road. Because what's built into the nature of the car is that unless it's under control by a driver, it will veer off of the road and you'll crash and die. This is what Paul's saying about our bodies in a sinful, fallen world. There's something built into our physical bodies... Both because we live in a sinful, fallen world, because our ancestors sinned and turned away from God, and because we have willfully sinned over and over again in our lives, built bad habits. A bad habit is not just something to smile and laugh at. You think about the nature of a human being. Paul is saying something is built into our physical bodies that will veer off God's path and destroy us if we don't stay in control. Sin lives in the parts of my body. That's what he's saying. It lives there. 